All right, back with some more agate nodules from Arizona, just outside of Phoenix. Gila Bend Mountain Range area. Let's walk through these and see what we're cutting today. All right, cut this little nodule. Nice color on the husk. A little bit of peeling right here, but I don't see any big fractures in it. So I'm hoping that's banded, it's got some pattern. Okay, kind of a translucent looking stone. It's got some weird stuff going on on that face. Got a little bit of chalcedony showing there. Don't see any quartz showing on the surface. So maybe he's a good one. We'll see. Not that quartz is bad, just kind of looking not to get quartz. All right. This one's got a window showing some banding and it's got some nice color back here. I'll be cut again, parallel to this face. Let's see if we've got some good pattern in it. All right, so this one, it's got your typical smoother skin on top. Got a little bit of a window there showing some banding agate, but the bottom looks kind of rough. So we'll see if there's any inclusions in that one. All right, so we got this larger nodule here. It's got some clear skin showing up here. Typically these will have the uh, quartz in it. You can see the quartz there, but this also has got some other stuff going on. And I wanna see if it created some inclusions on the inside. I see some calcite crystals here, possibly here. These might be quartz, can't tell. It's definitely quartz up here. It's got a little bit of agate underneath of that. But this is what interested me. These look like little tubes or something. So I wonder if they grow in the stone or if they're just on that bottom. So we'll cut him and see what's up. All right, got this bigger chunk up here. Got some uh, banded agate possibly showing on that window. All right. Got some banded agate with some quartz in the center showing there. So we're gonna have a mix of banded agate and quartz in this one. It's a matter of the ratio there. Hopefully it's more agate than quartz. Okay. Really the only window is this and I don't see a whole lot that tells me what this is going to be. It's got some surface fractures. Hopefully they're just surface. Cool. And this one's got your kind of a mix of the uh, typical husk on the top, but then it's got that rough bottom. So it might have some kind of like cotton candy or maybe a moss looking agate on the bottom and then maybe some banding on top. And this last guy here, a little bit of banding showing in that window. Maybe a little banding there. So hopefully, all right. That window is showing a little bit of quartz though in the center. I can see the light. Okay, so it is gonna have a quartz center on that one probably. We'll see. Okay, let's get these off the saw, I'll get them cut and uh, we'll see what's in them. Be right back. All right, back from the saw. Let's walk through them real quick. All right, so this first one, uh, not a lot. I mean, I guess there's some stuff in there, but the colors are so non-contrasting other than that black spot in the middle. All right, tumble. All 
right, so usually when you see this rough pattern with a little bit of this on top, usually you get your quartz or your agate up here and then your cotton candy looking stuff on the bottom. So no banding up on top, just quartz. But that cotton candy is kind of cool looking. So that'll be a nice tumble. Alright, this little tiny guy. Alright, he's got some nice banding and some nice quartz with a little bit of a floater. So that might look nice tumbled. Nice color and contrast in the bands. Okay, next up. Oop, can hear that one's hollow. All right, let's see what kind of a geode we ended up with. All right, needs cleaned out. It's got a little bit of dirt in there. It's got some nice banding around the outside, quartz in the middle with a nice quartz pocket. A little deeper on this side. Again, it needs cleaned out. That might look really nice once it's cleaned out. So we'll clean that, face polish it. Okay, next up, got that translucent looking agate. Let's see how that came out. All right, a little bit of quartz in the middle, but banding around it, and then some clear, uh, not as contrasting banding around that. Unfortunately, it does have a fracture right through the middle. So, probably throw that one in the tumbler. Okay, next up. So this is the one that had this interesting looking stuff here. And I thought maybe there'd be some tubes in it. So let's see if we get some tubes. All right, we did get some tubes. Very cool looking. Got some uh, coarse pockets, druzy pockets. And then got a little bit of tubes growing in the tip and then the bottom here. All right. Good candidate for a face polish. That's pretty cool looking. Nice. See how this guy came out. All right, well, mostly quartz, but some really cool looking uh, banding with some real depth there on the edge. Nice color. Oh, that's cool. Look how uh, deep you can see into that. All right, definite face polish or tumble on that. Next up, we got the biggest of the bunch. So, not a lot showing, a little bit of banding. All right, so it's unfortunately fractured really bad, but the pattern is really cool. Nice banding, nice quartz pocket, it's cleaned out. So banded geode, good color. Okay, it's not as deep on this side, but all right, very nice. Probably just do a face polish or a tumble on that. All right, two left. Okay, a little smaller guy. And some banding showing. Let's see how we ended up. Ooh, all right. Cool pattern. It does have some fractures in it. But nice contrasting bands. So, probably throw that one in the tumbler. Very nice. All right. 
fast up. doesn't have a lot of contrast in the banding but nice banding I don't see any fractures in this one so probably just a face polish on that all right very cool all right well this is the last one for this video so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye